afternoon, everybody. We've got wind, we've got rain, and we officially, finally, have Cindy. You can look out the window. The camera is shaking, winds gusting to about 31 miles per hour. Gale warnings in effect along the coast, and of course, flash flood watches in effect. Here is a look at Cindy stationary right now, and let me tell you that moisture is being pumped northward. Forecast to make landfall probably late Wednesday night, <coughs> excuse me, right along the south southeast coast of Texas, southwest Louisiana. Then it's forecast to move to the north and then to the northeast. The truth is what it's going to do for us is send in a whole lot of rain and our ground is now basically saturated. So that additional rain is going to be running off quickly and that means you've got the potential for some street flooding. So here is a look. The potential that we could have eight to nine inches of rain, six to nine inches rainfall possible. 12 inches, maybe more. That would mainly be right along the coast. And then the heaviest rain is going to be beginning tonight into Wednesday and into Thursday. Creeks, canals, ditches, may overflow and rapid ponding of water on the underpasses and I got to tell you I was driving the expressway a moment ago and that rain was coming down and it was really hard to see visibility drop and people were all slowing down which is a good thing but be aware driving that it's going to be kind of tough at times ponding on those roadways brief road and bridge closures are possible. So let's look. Slight risk for isolated tornadoes. And you may go, why is that? Well, it is officially a tropical system and not that well organized at this point. But with tropical systems, you do have that potential for tornadoes. Tropical force winds on the coast beginning today into Wednesday. And a storm surge of about one to three feet, possibly four. Worse looks like it's going to be by about noontime Wednesday, and that's because we will have, of course, that potential uh, for some strong winds right along the coast, pushing that water on shore. So here is a look at the forecast for the winds, and these are not wind gusts. These are sustained winds, and you can see how that water really has the potential to be pushed on shore. More of an issue, say, Hancock County, and then right along the coastal areas of St. Bernard and also Plaquemines Parishes. So we look at the high tides. For the Rigolese, it's going to be at 139 tomorrow afternoon. So that's when the water is going to be at its highest. So keep that in mind. And for Grand Isle, it's going to be at 9 in the morning. So your water is really going to be going up at those time periods. Here is a look, and we've got, of course, tropical storm warnings in effect along the coast. Where you're seeing the yellow, that's where the rain is the heaviest. And you'll see, yes, every now and then, in the metro, we've had some of that yellow. Let me tell you, that's pretty heavy rain that is coming down. So we've got the flash flood watch for all of southeast Louisiana, coastal Mississippi, Alabama, over into Florida. And let me tell you, over in Florida, they are getting some of that heavy rain. Not a good idea to be traveling on the road on I-10 to the east. Look at what a mess it is and some flooding beginning to occur. So there it is. It was a three. Now it's officially Cindy and it is stationary and when it's stationary that means it's just going to be a pump machine it's pumping that rain our way and look at how the moisture extends all the way down into the Caribbean so while this thing is stationary it just keeps sending the rain northward eventually it moves to the northwest now wait I want you to see finally you have truly got a closed low level circulation and so that says it's getting its act together it's getting more organized but it's got major issues Issues. Look, still the upper level low, dry air is being wrapped into it. And the truth is, when you get some dry air into a system, that can help with tornado development. So here we are looking at this in the enhanced infrared, and you can see these pockets of heavier rain. It's hard to tell you exactly where these pockets of heavier rain will occur, but obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, as it moves to the north and northwest, 
it's going to be moving northward. So we're going to get some of those pockets of heavier rain. There's the low, a frontal boundary to the north, and uh, you can see all of the different radars. We're zooming in, and there the south shore pretty much covered with light to moderate to heavy rain. Mississippi Gulf Coast, you're beginning to get some of that heavier rain. That's one of the rain bands that I moved through earlier, and it was pretty heavy. I want you to notice this is just an indication of what's to come. Just one storm report. Uh, that one was over at Dauphin Island. Of course, you know, you expect to get water there, but some of the roads are beginning to get water. So that type of thing is possible, especially Mississippi Gulf Coast, St. Bernard, Plaquemines Parish, uh, low-lying areas with these east-facing shorelines. Every now and then, too, we're getting a little bit of a spin, a rotation. And when you have a landfalling system, you've got the potential to get some brief tornadoes. So certainly water spouts are possible. Mariners, why would you be out there right now? So you don't want to go out. But what happens is that you've got all of this moisture moving on shore. The land kind of slows down the lower levels. You get a spin and you can get a tornado forming. But look, all of this is rain. That yellow is where it's heavier over at Lafitte, you know, and it's just constant, persistent rain. We can zoom into the metro. It's moderate rain every now and then a pocket of some heavier rain. Then we can go up here over the causeway. Not too bad north end. Uh, you've got some heavier rain beginning to move over the south end. North shore, you're not looking bad at all. Uh, just a few showers. Mississippi Gulf Coast, so sure you've got rain. Bay St. Louis, you've got rain heavier over here by Biloxi. Then we can look at one of our forecasts and we've got lots, lots and lots and lots of forecast. And you can see this rain moving on shore and the rain beginning to collect. This one indicates the potential for over four inches of rain by tomorrow morning. Metro, we're close to four inches. North shore, you're not as bad. It's two to almost three inches of rain. And then you go into Wednesday night and all of us pretty much have four to five inches and over uh, across southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. So just be aware, the wind is going to be there off and on. It's not my biggest concern. It's the rain. The rain could cause problems with driving, ponding on roadways. You really want to be careful driving through this kind of weather. We'll be here every hour keeping you posted on what you can expect with now, finally, Tropical Storm Cindy.